Today I want to work on expanding the search capability of the application. And I want to do this before actually getting into the coding of the voice recognition and voice search functions because it makes sense in terms of the workflow. So additional to the ability to search on Google and DuckDuck, um, I also want to search for videos on YouTube and books on Amazon. And we'll also code the button for voice search. Um, so let's get into it. That button, it's probably going to be placed over here. Uh, so back to the code. Let's just move this binding before button one. Uh, good. Now we'll keep adding buttons over here below button three. Um, and for convenience, I'm going to copy paste these two. So the two additional buttons are going to be for um, YouTube and Amazon. Um, since they are radio buttons, it makes sense to just copy paste and then modify the code. So the first one, this one is going to be button four. Uh, the text it's going to be AMZ the short for Amazon, the value AMZ, the variable remains the same. My button for it, we're going to place this on the grid row one. Column, this is going to be column three. And it has no sticky property. The next one, the one for YouTube, button five is going to be a radio button. The text is going to be YTB. The value of the button is going to be YTB. The variable remains the same. And this one is going to be on row one. So my button five, row one, column five. or column four. And we'll let it stick to the east of the application. Okay, now let's do the voice search button. But first, um, so our voice search button is going to be the sixth button. So since we have six buttons, our first button, the search, this one, has to be on the last column. So instead of column two, we will have to put it on column six. So it's going to be column six. As for the voice search button, we wanted to display a microphone instead of text. So it would be intuitive that its purpose is for voice input or voice search. And since we use an image for uh, this, we have to appeal to the photo image constructor. And you already know how to do this from my uh, Python intermediate series. So let's go here right below the style and uh, do photo, photo image, and the path to the file, microphone.png. It's going to be a subsample of 15 by 15. Now I have this file in the same folder with the code, so I don't have to specify the full path to it. And this file is going to be in the GitHub of the project, which you'll find a link to in the description. Now let's code button six, the voice search button. So it's going to be my button six. And this is not going to be a TTK, a themed TK, but a TK enter button. It's going to link to the root application and we're going to use our photo as image. So no text. The command is going to be a function called button click. 
let's uh, have a placeholder for it over here. So def button click. And we'll just pass it for now. Um, back to the button. We'll have a border of zero, an active background, active background. And I already have the color code. It's hash C1BFBF, quite simple. Um, it's going to have an over relief with the value of groove and a relief with the value of sunken. All right. Uh, we're going to place my button six is going to be on the grid. Uh, it's going to be on row zero and column. It's immediately before our search button. So it's going to be over here. Since the search is on column six, this is going to be on column five. Um, okay, another thing that we should modify is this entry field. It's I think it's a bit too wide. So let's go to the entry field over here. Let's have it instead of 50. It's going to be 40. Um, what else? It's going to be on row zero. Column one and we'll have it span over four columns. So column span equals four. Now <laughs> let's see how it all fits together. See how many errors we get. So hit F5, save and run. Oh, no error. But it doesn't look right. I mean, these are not aligned properly. So um, let's see what we can do to fix it or to make it look better. So the duck duck button, I think the duck duck button should be a little bit to the right. Okay, so duck duck this one we're gonna put it on column two and it stick it to the west of the application the west side of of its um its location over here okay Let's modify this as well. A slight detail. Now let's run this again to see if it looks better. And there you go. I think it looks better. And here's the, the voice search, which does nothing for now, but it's going to do in the next videos. Um, okay, I think this should be it for the video. In the next one, we're gonna work on expanding the functions get and callback um, to include these additional buttons. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.